hi welcome back to the video tutorial so in the last video we have discussed how we can save a presentation open a presentation basic file operations so in this video I'm going to explain how uh, we can do the slide operations it's coming under the home section so we are going to discuss in detail about this one so we have opened the PowerPoint and you can see there is two slides uh, I'm going to delete the second slide so let's explain from the scratch so today we are discussing about the slide section as I told so when you click on the new slide under the home tab you will see a number of themes there you can see when we click on one of the team it's coming the model it's coming is like it's different from one another so this was a um, this was the title slide and there is title and content slide section header to content comparison title only blank content with caption picture with caption so these are the office themes they are giving in default we can choose one of them directly for you to start working directly so if you're in otherwise you can you have to insert a blank template then you can add sections so this is easy for us to manage if it's a title header title slate or if you need the contents comparison of two contents so in this way we can organize our slides so as you know when you create a slide you will have different type of slates one of maybe it's some of them it's a heading title of the um, topics and then you have explanations with the graph with the table with the pictures videos and all those stuffs so here you can see that I'm inserting a table uh, using this shortcut method I'm going to explain in detail when we when we are going to discuss the insert tab but this is just I'm showing how we can insert the table on the theme what we have installed and same similarly we can uh, insert charts charts we have different types of charts you can see on the left side column line pie diagram bar diagram area diagram xy scale so I'm just insert one um, chart it's nothing to do with uh, any data I'm just giving some a random data it's already there some random data so there we can edit that one I'm just gonna give names like group 1 group 2 and group 3 so you can see the changes is happening on the chart we'll discuss all in detail in coming chapter make I will make sure that you know how to insert the chart and um, which type of chart like pi diagram XY diagram whatever you need so that's not a big deal at present you don't need that i just showing that uh, you have an option to insert it directly when we using the slate themes you don't need to go to insert and uh, look for the charts or tables or pictures whatever so this one good advantage with um uh, with the charts section uh, with the insert uh, section we have in the slate team uh, here you can see I'm, ins I'm inserting a picture from uh, online I'm searching the, on the Bing Microsoft picture gallery I search for a flower because I like flowers very much okay that's fine it's inserting the picture it depends on the speed of your internet connection as well as the size of the picture So this is about so I assume that you know how to insert the pictures videos charts using the direct method like shortcut method that we have got through the slide section and uh, then we have blank template this a blank template you can do whatever we want like inserting triangles rectangles circles for us to do it ourselves and this one it's um, a different template so different theme here we can add title and subtitles like subtext 
I'm giving something randomly. There is no meaning in actually. Main points of PowerPoint tutorial and we can give him its name slate and uh, description. So just showing this one. There's nothing to do with this uh, with the slides. And uh, we have duplicate selected slides option. Duplicate selector slides means it's copying the uh, the selector slides and pasting it in one click. Manually you can do that. Control C, Control V, or copy paste. But here you are doing directly duplicating. And slides from outline option you have. It's nothing but outline of the slides you can insert to the slide that you have here. So we'll discuss it uh, later when we have a slide and here we can uh, reuse slides reusing slides it's um, uh, nothing but we are inserting the slides from another presentation for example we have multiple number of presentation in uh, in our computer say so in a meeting you need some slides from the previous meetings or the previous presentation that you have made which has relevance in in the um, new presentation so for sure you need to insert the slides you don't need to copy and paste you need to select so you can directly insert the slides uh, from the external source so you'll browse the slide and uh, you have you have found out the slide where which you need to be inserted so after that you can double click on the slide and you can also choose now how many number of slides you need to insert if you have more slides for sure you can uh, insert you can choose the number of slides but unfortunately i have only one slide this one i made it for my thumbnail in video in my previous video so you can you can see when right click you can insert all slides you can insert selective slides whatever so basically you just need to understand you can insert the slides from another another presentation okay then we can go with the layout we, for example, we have one layout on our slate. We need to change it. So in this case, you can click on the slate and change it. You see the changes happening on the on the screen, which is automatically removing the sections depending on the layout that we have chosen. And then you can uh, you can also reset the slates. And uh, this is the important topic: sectioning. Uh, sectioning means. Uh, you have number of topics or number of subtopics to be discussed in a presentation like main tab and uh, subsections so for example as far as our our presentation is concerned or tutorial is concerned we have so far discussed the main section and we are discussing the home tab now so I'm just giving uh, subsection names it's home tab and um, you can see that I can move the slides from one section to another section uh, to organize. For example, if you have some slides to be gone to the main section, so we can we can uh, just drag and drop on the top. So here it's I'm gonna give it the name introduction section for the beginning, and I'm giving the home tab for the second section. We can have multiple number of sections, so it will be easy for us to see what are the section what are the slides under the section we can organize basically and we can do number of operations that I'm, I'm showing in the screen removing the section uh, it will remove the section remove section and slides which means it will remove the section as well as the slides inside it and remove all selection means it's removing all selections all sections but not slides so this is about sections and you have collapse all and expand all you see the changes collapse all means it's uh, showing the titles you can expand it and expand all means you can expand all the collapsed sections at a time but also you can expand it one by one if if it's, it's up to you how you want to explain to them but in, for a, in a presentation when you go to the presentation uh, it's, it doesn't matter actually but for you to understand for you to organize uh, is very important the sectioning of the presentation um, 
questions. We still have a lot of a lot of topics to be discussed under the home section. Keep watching, keep subscribed. Click on the bell icon if you want the notification for the next videos. And thank you for watching.